I'm going to go down the list now uh, academically real quickly, or excuse me, alph alphabetically real quickly, and just give you a real quick synopsis on them, and then I'll be open for questions. Number one, Demetrius Allen uh, was an excellent outside linebacker. He played both inside and outside at Miami Northwestern, one of the nation's premier uh, high school football programs. Uh, we've, we noticed Demetrius um, this past season when I was at Washington State University, and uh, Coach Rudy Griffin did an excellent job of, of, of presenting our program to him and his family, and Demetrius is willing to make a cross-country sojourn <laughs> to Pocatello and be a part of our program, and we're very excited about that. Levi Alteringer was one of the state's uh, top quarterbacks at Rocky Mountain High School. Uh, he's a, an athlete of, of good size and strength. Uh, he's a very contained athlete in that uh, he's not necessarily a, a manufactured type quarterback operating within the system, within the scope of the play, a very efficient player, and certainly uh, an outstanding student also. Colin Andrus from up the road at Idaho Falls is an excellent offensive lineman. Um, he actually can play on either side of the ball. He plays at a phenomenal pace. He's got a great finish. Uh, he, he's an outstanding family. He will serve an LDS mission and join our program in 2014. Justin Arias is a transfer quarterback from College of the Canyons. Justin played at Agora High School. Uh, he was at the same, the same class with Nick Montana. They were both seniors together in the 2009 season. And uh, I was very much aware of him uh, years ago as a player, uh, an excellent student, uh, and another uh, quarterback with some current game experience that should help us decide uh, or, excuse me, help us develop the position uh, with, with enough ability uh, that's readily demonstrable. Uh, Jim Bagley's a, a very tall, long, thick offensive lineman from Rocky Mountain High School in Boise. Now, Jim was in our summer camp at Washington State, and he acquitted himself very well. And again, Coach Griffin and I, who worked together there, were very much aware of his ability. And Coach Derek Roach, our offensive line coach, did an excellent job of recruiting him. Interesting enough, Jim spent his freshman year uh, with his parents uh, in, in China. And uh, he's had some world experiences that a lot of our guys uh, can very are not very familiar with. Derek Berry is an outside linebacker from Curtis High School in Tacoma, Washington. And uh, Derek, again, was another guy that was in our summer camp, so I've had an opportunity to work with Derek. Uh, Derek has excellent size and range. He played on a, at, a, at Curtis High School, which is a very storied program in the state of Washington. I'm very familiar with the level of play he comes from. Uh, an outstanding young player uh, with, with a tremendous upside because of his range. He could play all f seven defensive front positions, <laughs> probably in addition to all five or all six offensive front positions. Uh, Anthony Boyles is a transfer from the University of Washington, uh, one of the most unique transfers I've ever been involved with. Uh, he will not join us until he graduates from the University of Washington in May, at which time he will retain two complete years of eligibility. Uh, he will enter, and because it's a, the one-time transfer rule exception, he doesn't necessarily have to be in graduate school to be able to be eligible for us. So he's got a couple choices in the academic programs he can come to. Uh, he comes out of Los Angeles, highly, highly recruited. He played offense for one year at the University of Washington and then played defense the past two years, and his heart has always been on offense. And so we welcome him to our program with a tremendous amount of ability <laughs> and the right kind of maturity and academic success that we're trying to get to. And we talked to the rest. He was offense his first year in the fall of 08 and then played defense in the fall of 09 and the fall of 10. He's only played three years. He has two years of eligibility. Years he redshirted one of those three years. Okay. So he has two years of eligibility remaining. Jared Daniels is already on campus. He's one of the three mid-year uh, transfer students to join our program. Uh, Jared is, was a high school senior uh, in 2010. He played one season at Modesto College after transferring, or after uh, where he played after graduating from Manteca High School. At Manteca High School, he scored 31 touchdowns uh, this past year at Modesto in a wide-open offense playing tailback. Uh, he had an excellent year running the ball, a little over 500 yards and uh, rushing. He also had near 400 yards receiving. He's an excellent student. In the Nike Combine camps, he ran in the 4-4 range. Uh, he, he's a, a very explosive player, and we will play him at wide receiver with the ability to move him to tailback depending on our situation at tailback. The next uh, person, Austin Graves, is also a, is, a, is a transfer to us this past uh, 
between semesters from Washington State University. Austin was an outstanding high school player at Southridge High School in Kennewick, Washington, where he played for Andy Troxel, who was the uncle of Matt Troxel, and the brother uh, who's on our coaching staff as our tight ends coach. And of course, uh, Andy's brother is Van Troxel, head coach up at Lake City High School. And uh, their father was my head coach at the University of Idaho. And Andy had spoke to uh, Matt that um, Austin, while at Washington State University not playing, was interested in resuming his college career. And Matt inquired, well, how's he doing in school? And when we got his transcript, uh, uh, we were pretty humbled by the fact that a 4.0 student, who was a first team all state selection in the state of Washington a year ago, would be uh, interested in transferring to Idaho State University to continue his academic career and begin his athletic career with us. Austin will come to us with four years of eligibility and not a red shirt. And uh, we're excited to have him in the program. He's doing very well in the weight room. He's got good size and good range. He was obviously a great football player in high school. Um, Tyler Graves, it's uh, a year of the Graves brothers, uh, joins our program as a defensive lineman out of Fruitland. He was a 3A football player of the year, n not, not a posi position-specific award for the Fruitland High School, which won the 3A title. Uh, outstanding baseball player, uh, a young man who um, had a lot of options going for him in terms of schools he could have chose to go to. He is a uh, tall, rangy player, uh, outstanding tight end, and we'll play him in the defensive line here. Uh, we're pretty well uh, loaded at tight end, and I just I, I like his ability in terms of closing to a play and, and making the big kind of plays uh, as a defensive lineman. Ben Haimuli is a starting uh, a four-year starter at Cottonwood High School in, Saint, in uh, Salt Lake City. Um, Ben's family, the Haimuli name, is well known throughout Utah, throughout the Utah universities and colleges. Um, ben is the uh, latest in a long line of uh, Tongan ancestry football players from the uh, Salt Lake City area uh, to make his way to college. Very productive player and at 243 pounds, a, a very strong and physical force. Uh, a lot of colleges shied away from Ben because he too will serve a two-year LDS mission and join us in 2014. Kyle Jones is a big offensive lineman, defensive lineman from Valley View High School uh, in Caldwell. Uh, <laughs> Kyle is uh, uh, reminds me a lot of my brother Pat, and my brother Pat is a little bit taller than I, I am. Uh, a very uh, open and, and friendly and, and warm, gregarious person with an outstanding grade point. And my brother Pat went on to play at Notre Dame, and Kyle sounds like him, and he talks like him, and looks like him, and I, I just I just think that there's it's just a, the the similarity is is sometimes shocking to me. Uh, Kyle and his, his family uh, welcomed me to my latest uh, visit ever at night. Uh, I went down to Boise. It was a tremendous rainstorm and windstorm. Uh, the lights and the power was all knocked out, and I had an earlier home visit with uh, Jim Bagley and his family and started to make my way across the, the valley over to Caldwell and got lost several times, even though I was using GPS or trees down and, and roads were closed. In fact, uh, Kyle's dad works for the State Department of Transportation. He wasn't even home. And we began our evening visit on a Sunday night at 11 p.m. And uh, I, I've been coaching a long time and recruit a lot of kids. And you don't really have much luck when you start something like that real late at night. But uh, Kyle's family was very gracious. His dad was able to join us later on in the visit. And we had an outstanding visit and then fought off a very determined effort by Weber State University. Uh, to keep Kyle Jones as an in-state recruit for us. Kyle will also serve a two-year LDS mission and join us in 2014. 